You know, one question that hit me this last week, and that was, I wonder if you can actually flush heat away using a hot tub here. If you read the description closely, it says water must be at a comfortable temperature and will cool rapidly. Hmm, so does that mean it's actually deleting heat or cooling heat in such a way that we could potentially delete it or is it just moving it around? Well, that sounds like an experiment to me. All right, so welcome to my experiment. Let me go ahead and take you on a tour of how this thing works. So essentially what we're doing here is we are cooling the water down to the output temperature of what's coming out of the hot tub. How we're doing that is by kind of doing a couple of different liquid loops. So if we take a look at the liquid over here, there is one loop that is running around my current base that I'm calling here, this little small place here, uh, and I'm using the radiant tile cooling system here. I did a video on that. You can check it out up here in the top right. Essentially, what we're doing is we're running very cold water or cooled water uh, right down to six degrees or so, and that is running through some metal tiles right down here at the bottom. That keeps the hot tubs nice and cool so that they can stay operational. Isn't that right, Liam? Yeah. Ooh, what'd you do there, Brian? A little farter? Yeah. Stinky! Oh no! Anyhow, that's keeping it nice and cool. And then the rest of this is just kind of made of, of whatever. And then essentially that cools everything down inside of this area here. So I do have some oxalite that's at a relatively mm, warmer temperature of 31 degrees Celsius. So I'm kind of curious to see just how hot I could potentially make my oxygen source and still keep everything nice and cool inside of here. Uh, that water runs around the base here and then it does find its way back in over here. So this is just a very typical uh, thermal aqua tuner here and it's it runs if this is above 20 degrees Celsius otherwise the water just skips right on past it so it just goes past this inlet and goes over to that inlet and drops right down so the whole thing just continues to flow just like this and it only runs through the aqua tuner if it is above that temperature so there's some that's a, still a little bit too cold right there and it just kind of skips right on past it so there's no tank or anything seems to work out just fine. Uh, down here, I have a liquid tepidizer. This just keeps the temperature warm enough to start everything up. Uh, because if our temperatures are not you know, roughly around 40 degrees Celsius or so, the water that runs into these hot tubs is too cold and then they won't operate. The water just skips right down past it and goes on out the right. So let's take a look at that loop here. It's essentially a radiator loop over here. So our cooled water comes in over here and since this area is exposed to the hot side of the aqua tuner it heats up so right down here it's at about 43 degrees celsius and then that even though there's a bunch of bridges in the way uh, finds its way into some pipes that goes right back down into the hot tubs so when we're looking at the hot tubs here the hot side is the inlet and the cool side is the outlet so the real question is how far can we push these temperature extremes and can we delete a decent amount of energy by running hot tubs because if we can ooh, that would be good for morale wouldn't it so i just set this thing up and it's just getting started here so the temperature is over here on the right uh, this is currently right around 43 degrees celsius if this can get up upwards of 80 or 90 degrees ooh, that would be really good first thing i want to observe here is how does the water actually run through the hot tub uh, does a duplicate have to finish up their morale cycle or, or how does that work so if you take a look at the hot tub here, you can see that it has some bleach stone that we're using up. It doesn't really use that much bleach stone, but it does use a little bit. And you can see that the temperature of the water there does slowly go down a little bit. Oh, come on, Devin, you can make it, man. It's so far away, I know. You'll be all right. <laughs> oh, he didn't make it. I suppose the ultimate test to this is if we were to make the water over here really, really hot. Can we delete the heat? Will it actually cool down over here? Or will it continue to get hotter and hotter? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take up the temperature. We're gonna bring it up to about 80 degrees Celsius. And I think that's as high as we can go with the tepidizer. And we can see if we're ever going to be able to drop the temperature back down over here. All right, here we go. Now we've got the experiment running. Look at all these dupes inside of the hot tubs. Perfect. Everybody even has little balloons and everything. All right, so what I'm hoping to see is that the temp <laughs> Brian, dude. Please don't pee on the floor. You're going to invalidate my tests. <laughs> Anyhow, the metal tiles are staying nice and cool because we're running it through the aqua tuner here. So this is keeping everything 
Nice and cold. However, the inlet temperature is now up there at 78 degrees Celsius. So the real question here is, is this water going to continue to go up and up in temperature? We're currently at 82 degrees Celsius, or can we delete this heat? All right, so here we go, another wave of hot tubbing. <laughs> Get all these tubes. So what are the temperatures doing? Are the temperatures increasing down here, or are they just kind of staying the same the whole time? 18 degrees Celsius, pretty much the same all the way across. If you take a look at the hot tub, its heat production is 5,000 DTUs per second, which is interesting. I think if anything, this thing might actually be creating heat rather than deleting heat. I have a lot of dupes that are kind of jumping in and jumping out. Maybe the water's a little bit too hot to that for them. I don't know. The water inside of here, though, is... That one is at 48 degrees Celsius. This is at 44.7. Maybe find a spot. Oh no, no hot tub for you today. All right, so the hot tub all the way over here on the left just received a big shot of water. That water was up there at 78 degrees Celsius and you can see its temperatures rapidly increasing. However, the water is cooling down. So to be honest, I think the hot tub is working more like a radiator um, than anything else. The temperature over here on the right continues to go up. We're now up to 84 degrees Celsius. So, we're, we're using plenty of energy to try to keep everything cool. But maybe that's just a byproduct of this being a little bit too hot. So let's get rid of my current oxalite situation, try to set it up towards something that's a little bit closer to everything else. All right, so my source of oxygen is now 20 degrees Celsius. That happens to be the exact same number that I'm trying to detect right over here. So my hope is that this will pretty much negate any sort of effect that we have with all of this oxygen flowing through here. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, this thing is basically a giant heat sink <laughs> without it interacts with everything here. So it's kind of hard to kind of isolate that exactly. But the real question is, is the water going to get hotter or is it going to get colder over here on the right? We're currently at 83.4 degrees Celsius. So that means the inlet temperature for all of these hot tubs, look at that, right around 80 degrees Celsius, really quite hot. Although the first thing that they do is lose a bunch of heat. So if we take a look at the thermal overlay, we might get a better idea of what's going on here. Yeah, you can see the hot tubs put off a little bit of heat right there. 5,000 DTUs each time they're in use. Then a bunch of dupes fall asleep on the floor. Sucking up all my oxygen. Hey, at least this thing's looking for carbon dioxide, so. Okay, so after several cycles of running this little experiment here, the temperature over here on the right is the exact same number. It's pretty much 83 point something degrees Celsius. It goes up by 0.1 or minus by 0.1 degrees Celsius every now and then. But for the most part, no, these hot tubs here do not delete thermal energy. At least it doesn't look like it in any of my experiments. If anything, they kind of look like an aqua tuner themselves. They bring in a hot side there, they kind of have a cold side on the way out, and they just transfer the energy from here into the surrounding environment. So when you're kind of running both environments into the same tank right here, the temperature just pretty much balances out all the time. However, I would say the thing that has a bigger effect on the temperature of your body of water has to do with the temperature of the, you know, oxygen and pretty much everything else that isn't a hot tub inside of here. If there's one thing that I've learned though, is that it doesn't really seem to matter what type of material you make your hot tub out of. Uh, I've made it out of copper, I've also made it out of wolframite here. They really seem to perform the exact same thing. However, building them on top of metal tiles has had a pretty strong effect in keeping them operational. So by doing that and then running some sort of aqua tuner through there just to kind of keep the floor cool, the thermal conductivity between this hot tub and the metal tiles and kind of the gas around it um, really helps keep these things up and running. So, however, the plus side of this is that all of these dupes are getting a nice big bonus of plus five morale every time they're using this hot tub. So that's real nice. So to answer my burning question here, do the hot tubs actually delete thermal energy? The answer, no, I don't think so. They pretty much just kind of move it around and they don't really move around all that much heat to begin with. So as long as you can keep them cool and keep them supplied with some decently warm water, then you know what? The best thing they are for is boosting morale, which is exactly what that equipment is all about. But rats, we're not able to flush the heat away. Darn it, I was really hoping that would work out. Weren't you, mate? You know what? I think he's too relaxed to care. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this little episode here of Oxygen Not Included. If this looks like the channel for you, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. Have a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Peace. Brothgar out.